Hey there everyone. You wouldn't believe the number of emails, texts, and phone calls I'm starting to receive about this great new product we're starting to promote. It's the first toolless double-edged splice tape with onboard pin jig alignment in the industry. Today I'm going to show you a splice that's made specifically for emitter and receiver type smart feeders. The kind you'd find on Panasonic, Yamaha, and Juki. Let's go take a look at the video. I want to show you how to splice Panasonic toolless splice tape with pin jigs today. We're using the scissor cutter with four and two millimeter pitch spacing. We'll use on this tape four millimeter spacing and we'll cut the tape. Then we'll go to our splice. Again, this is a toolless splice, so it has the pin jig alignment system on it. So all you need to do is pull the tape back to start it, bring your tape up to join it, putting it over the sprocket teeth, bringing the next second one in, and they join alignment right there. Then you have alignment jigs here on the side that help you align it. You get it started on here just lightly. Pull the pin jig system out. Seat the tape onto the carrier tape. Pull the hard plastic cover. You'll notice we have the sprocket holes covered because it's for a Panasonic type system. And we have a very firm splice. All you need to do is pull your tape off and you can see that it pulls both sides off without any issue. And we still have a good firm splice. Then when we go to our 32 millimeter tape, we're going to use our guillotine cutter that's 8 through 32 millimeter using 2, 4, and 8 millimeter pitch. All you need to do is put this tape in here since it's 32 millimeter tape. It uses the 8 millimeter pitch. Whoops. We cut the tape. And we go to our splice again. It's a toolless splice with pin jigs already on it. You just start to fold the protective tape back. You align the tape into the pin jigs, like so. Put your second piece in. And our self-alignment up here again, you just start it over there. And you remove the protective pin piece here. And you fold the other piece over. Again, it's self-aligned, so there's no need to look at what you're doing underneath. That aligns it perfectly. And you just make sure the other side is folded down that covers the sprocket holes. Once you have all these aligned, you pull the protective tape off. Make sure they're seated. Then when you pull your Cover tape off, it comes completely off both sides. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for stopping by the classroom today. Please remember that Smart Splice is the only full service tape splicing company in the industry, and we back that claim with video meetings, webinars, and even a personal visit from yours truly, Professor Splice. All you need to do is contact me at the university or right here. Thank you.